Hello dear students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep, India's most comprehensive platform. So there is a very good news for all of you guys that Airport Authority of India has come up with another vacancies. Recently you have seen that there is a vacancy for the junior executive air traffic control through the gate examination. That was for the gate 2020, gate 2021 and 2022. And uh, those who are preparing now were disappointed because there were a huge number of vacancy but they all were for previous gate examination. So there is a good news now that we have again 356 vacancies for the engineers and the graduates and this is purely without gate. That means there will be a separate exam for air traffic control junior executive post in uh, airport authority of india and uh, in this exam what is uh, the syllabus you have to cover and uh, what is the strategy and what is the detail you know pattern and uh, what is the ctc for this particular vacancy all things i will cover here and uh, first of all i want to tell you that the number of post when the registration date will open and what will be the closing date and uh, what will be the age limit and uh, what will be your uh, uh, eligibility criteria so all these things i will cover here so as you can see that uh, the number of posts are 356 okay so that there are 356 posts here okay so there are 356 posts here and uh, opening date is 22nd december 2022 so the date of registration is 22nd december 2022 so just remind set the remainder in your mobile okay and the closing date is 21st january 2023 now the question arise that what will be the exam date see in the 2022 itself the airport authority of india has recruited through their separate written exam and that time the exam was just after the 15 days of closing date so here it is the 21st january so according to the current scenario because they have recruited the six months ago and now they are again recruiting the huge number of posts are there so that means they need it badly so that means they will do the recruitment process fastly and similarly to the last uh, date of the examination which was just after the 15 days of the closing date uh, we are expecting this exam to be held on the mid of february to the mid of march so you have to prepare for this exam keeping this in mind that the exam is going to be conducted on the mid of february okay so you have to take uh, uh, the date as a 10th to 15th of february and if it is it goes beyond that then it will be beneficial for you you can just do the practice you can just do the revision but you have to finish the syllabus till the 10th of february okay now before starting because why i am telling you about the airport authority of india because uh, i have cracked the airport authority of india twice okay so i have cracked this airport authority of india twice so air traffic controller i have appeared it and i have cracked it so i can tell you better that which part should be covered and which part you can leave and what should be the detailed syllabus and what will be the cutoff so here I will also discuss the previous year cutoffs. Okay. So what is the pattern of the air traffic control exam? There is will be a two part. So there will be overall 120 questions. And in the part A there will be 60 questions of 60 marks. And uh, this will be divided into the four part. Which one is uh, English language, general intelligence, general aptitude and general knowledge. And the marks are 20, 15, 15 and 10 respectively. And there will be a separate part which is 60 questions from the basics of physics and mathematics. So it will be completely based on the class 11th and class 12th. So nothing will come from your engineering background. If you are in, from engineering or you are from the BSc background, there will be nothing from your graduate course. The complete questions will be based on the syllabus of class 11th and class 12th, physics and mathematics. Total questions will be 120 
and total marks will be 120 and the total minutes will also be 120. The medium is English and Hindi both. So the questions will be written in Hindi and English both. So whether you are from English medium or Hindi medium, it doesn't matter. The question will be bilingual. And then come to the syllabus of the different categories. Suppose in the English language, we have the synonyms, antonyms, reading, comprehension, direct and indirect speech, active, passive voice, fill in the blanks, sentence, suffering and one word substitution. This type of questions will come from the English language. From the general intelligence, visual memory like questions, analogies, special visualization, uh, arithmetical reasoning, coding, decoding, non-verbal reasoning, figure classifications. And from the general aptitude, there will be a ratio proportional, pipes and systems, and uh, average time and work, permutation combination, problems from LCS, SCF, area, AP, GP, number systems, profit loss. So the questions will come from here. And general knowledge, there will be a most favorite questions from the books and authors, okay, Indian budgets, current affairs of last three to four months, and the static history, which is the modern history. And there will be questions from the abbreviation and important dates as well. So this four part you have to cover and what book you can follow for this is the Lucent, the general knowledge book that comes uh, by the name of Lucent that you can follow. And uh, from the class 11th physics, the law of motion, thermal property, thermodynamics, rotational motion, gravitational, straight line and plane. This part you have to cover from the class 11 and from class 12th physics, you have to cover the electric charges, electrostatic potential, current electricity, moving charges and magnetism, electromagnetic wave, ray optics, wave optics and semiconductor electronics where we you have to cover the diode, transistor and logic gates. So these parts are very very important. If you will see the previous year questions, then you will see the many questions from the class 12th physics and there will be a bit less question from the class 11 but you cannot uh, get, take a chance you have to prepare both class 11th and 12th physics portion that i said completely because the cutoff is going to be very very high and uh, to get this exam uh, to crack this exam you have to uh, score more and for that you have to prepare very well and that is what we are coming here with the uh, new batch we will be coming uh, with this ATC examination. So just keep track on our channel and also the Baiju's exam prep SSC J channel. You will be having one separate batch and separate course for the ATC. Keeping this in mind that this exam is going to be held on 10th of February. We will be launching the batch very soon. And part B in the mathematics. You have to cover the vector, probability, calculus, partial derivative, differential equations, linear algebra, that is the matrices and the determinants, limit continuity, trigonometry, complex variable, straight line, sets and relations and numerical method also you can cover from your engineering. Well, this is least important. You can leave this also. This is very, very previous year, means around 2012, 20, uh, 2012, it was there one or two questions from the sensor rule and the neutral action but you can leave this topic because uh, they are now more focused on the class 11th and class 12 because they have mentioned it in the syllabus very clearly now what will be the selection process and the age limit age limit will be 27th and there will be age relaxation according to your categories whether you are from sc st or mbc the eligibility criteria is uh, you can be the final year student but the, at the time of document verification, which will be held around um, April and May, you should be having your final degree or final semester result. That means eight semester result you should have in your hand at the time of document verification. Whether degree will not be there, if you have the result of eight semester, then also they will consider you under this selection process. And the second thing, the age limit I have told, and uh, this is for the BTEC and BSc both. And the physics and mathematics should be one of the subjects in your uh, BSc, okay? Uh, and for BTEC, obviously, it is there in the first year. And the lateral entry, the diploma students can also fill this particular exam, okay? So, uh, this is a, one of the questions that diploma, it, is it for the diploma students? So, answer is yes. So, candidates will be shortlisted on the basis of their performance in the online examination. And uh, they will be called for the document verification followed by the voice test. And uh, they will check your all the documents whether they are uh, relevant or not and you are uh, filling 
fulfilling the eligibility criteria or not and then there will be a voice test and the voice test is nothing but a one paragraph will be given to you and they will ask you to read that through the mic so you should be clear with your voice and uh, the medical standards you can go and check with the airport the authority of india website so this is aai aero aai okay aai aero dot in so you go in this website and uh, here you go into the recruitment dashboard so here you can go in the recruitment dashboard and you will see the notification for this particular exam and there you can get the more detailed idea okay and what will be the cut off for the this exam in the past it was there uh, according to the 21 and 22 recently if you will see then you can see that uh, this is the very close to the 121 it means that is the cut off is very high so the paper was bit easy in the 2022 so now the cut off was 99 99 98 and 97 respectively for the different categories and 2021 it was 95 so you can keep this in mind that uh, you have to score more than 95 if you want to crack this exam okay so you have to prepare in that way uh it can go beyond 100 also because now the people are more aware the students are now more aware now the more resources are available now the uh, everywhere the separate batch is there for atc so the cut off is expected to be higher side it will not go less than that even the paper will be tough because the preparation of the students are now going very high level so that is why the cut off will be even more than this but it will not be less than 95 so prepare according to that okay so there will be a if you are a gate aspirant so there will be a separate open mega mock test for gate 23 which will be there in the 13 to 20 december you can register the link is given in the description and uh, the you can get the 90% scholarship if you are preparing for the gate 24 and 23 then you can register again and this is today at 8 pm the scholarship is today at 8 pm so all the details is given in the description so go and check in the description everything is there and if you have any doubt just comment it and uh, i will be sharing the details in the form of a shorts or in the form of a separate video so if you have any doubt regarding the atc and any doubt in the regarding to the scholarship test you can just give a comment i will reply on that thank you for watching this and just set the reminder and prepare well for this atc exam and stay tuned with us because we are coming with the new batch of atc thank you